Oh my word. Oh my word. No! Oh my word, it's Harpy Central! Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the 10 Time Spawns playthrough. We took down King Slime in the last episode, the first boss in Terraria. Today, we're hopefully going to move on to the Eye of Cthulhu and we're going to do that all with 10 times enemy spawns, which is gonna be crazy. So, check it out. We actually already have a good amount of lenses. So, all we need to do is we need to get ourselves back down to the Crimson Altar that we found in the last episode down in the mushroom biome here. We should be able to make ourselves a couple of suspicious looking eyes. And who knows? Maybe while we're down here, we can maybe find ourselves some more treasures. In the last episode, we died just before being able to grab ourselves this life crystal over here. So, that'd be quite nice to get. So, as we make our way down to the caves, my friends, I just want to say, of course, a massive thank you as always for all of your lovely support throughout this series. I really appreciate all of the love in the form of the comments, likes, and subscriptions lately. Of course, drop a like if you want to continue supporting these episodes here. Subscribe if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you do want to go one further with your support, consider checking out pythongb.com slash PC if you're in the market for a brand new gaming PC. Here we go, my friends. We managed to get down to the Crimson Altar without too many any issues. So here we go. Not one, but two Eye of Cthulhu Summoners. Oh, dude, I'll tell you something. The ability to dash in this playthrough is going to be amazing. The painter has arrived. Well, well, well. I mean, I'm not entirely sure how useful he's going to be in this playthrough here, but um, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Oh, for goodness sake, I had the opposite debuff on me there as a result of the feral bite. And there we go. First death of the episode. All right, what time of day is it? Midday. Okay, I think we've still got a little bit of time then to explore the underground before we try to take on the Eye of Cthulhu. I ain't about to let no freaking death spoil my day and stop me from achieving my objectives. No way, Jose. I wonder if I just ride this track here and hope for the best. <laughs> I mean, so far, so good. Oh, wait. We've already gone way, way past where we died. Oh, gee whiz. All right. Uh, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Give me my money. Stop giving me the curse debuff. Oh, my goodness me. That's got to be my biggest gripe with this series so far. The Feral Bite debuff. All right. Coming up to my most favoritest place in the entire world. Oh, boy. I mean, it really isn't. I actually hate it quite a lot. <laughs> so we can just get us on straight past the marble biome and into whatever is coming up. That would be lovely. It appears to be the snow biome. Well, okay then. Oh, that's the end of the minecart rail. All right, I can see little tiny bits of light happening over to my left-hand side here with these snow caves. Why don't we go ahead and see what... Oh, wow, what a start. Okay, that is fantastic. <laughs> Excellent. Starting off with double life crystal. All right, so some of you eagle-eyed viewers might be able to spot it. There is, in fact, a water chest beneath us. And the bad news is we have a very, very, very limited amount of grenades. I really, really should have bought some more, huh? Oh, okay. Right, uh, we have a small army to take down over here, if at all possible. What have we got? Wait, who's trying to kill me still? Go, get out of here, sons of guns. What have we got? Breathing weed. And there we are, the last of my grenades. Oh dear, oh dear. Hey, 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 hey. Stop trying to trap me to death there, Terraria. Oh, no way. <laughs> That's got to be one of the most secluded life crystals I've ever seen. That's hilarious. All right, I'll take it. 320 health. Only four more, and then we have the pre-hard mode maximum of 400 health. Hmm. Do we death run this thing? Ah, I mean, probably, right? Oh, boy. All right, here we go. We're death running it. Ah, if we could just get past, we might enjoy... Oh, we might actually be able to live and see what's what. Oh, my goodness me. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I can't see... I cannot see what is going on. I wish I had shine potions. Ah, okay. A cabin and a life crystal. <laughs> 
And weirdly, I'm actually going up in the cave to find all this stuff. Oh, very cool. All right, uh, what kind of things are we going to get out of this beautifully frozen house? That's the real question. What is it? We have... Oh. Hey, actually, no, that's okay. We have an extractinator finally. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy about that. I initially didn't give that chest as much credit as I think it deserved. But uh, yeah, there we are. I changed my mind. Extractinator will be a great way for us to get gems in a semi-safe fashion. And here we are, my friends. 340 health. Oh, hang on. We have demon eyes. What time of night is it? I have absolutely no clue. All right, so let's try and figure this thing out, shall we? Thorns. Don't need that. Uh, I might keep the heart reach, actually. Archery, yes. Bowl of soup, yes. Swiftness, yes. And, well, actually, that's just about it for now, unless there's something I can make over here. Ah, there we go. Regen potions. Yep. Boom. There we are. Watch. Ooh, we have about four minutes. Do we think that's enough? Do we think that is enough to take down the Eye of Cthulhu? <laughs> All right, my friends, there's only one way to find out. Here we go. Buff it up. And there we are. It's Eye of Cthulhu time. Oh, hello. There you are. Oh, I feel like we're kind of in spooky mode right now because I can't see all that well because for some reason I didn't have the foresight to put down any torches on my arena. So, you know, that's that's good. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. All right, I don't know. I don't know. What, what's the best thing to do? I mean, the Shroomerang definitely does seem to do the damage, which is good. 3,700 health remaining. I mean, yeah. The only thing is, it is kind of slow, isn't it? It really is, in fact. Uh, flaming arrows. Oh, that's why. I was wondering why my flaming arrows weren't the ones being used. So, uh, yeah, there we are. All right, so, I mean, do we want to use the Jester's arrows just for a little bit? Maybe get rid of some of these here little servant dudes? That's probably a good shout. All right, there we are, my friends. Second phase. Going to switch back to the flaming arrows now. And see what goes on. It's not going to be long before this guy goes berserk mode, is it? Oh, boy. The interesting thing is we don't even... Oh, good move. The interesting thing is we don't even have Hermes boots yet, which normally would go very much against you in an Eye of Cthulhu fight. But, uh, I mean, so far, so good. I don't want to... Oh, God. I don't want to jinx things too much. But, you know, we seem to be doing kind of all right here. We're not taking massive amounts of damage. And we're already at less than 1,000 health remaining with the Eye of Cthulhu here. Very nice. And look at that. We've actually still got two minutes remaining. Oh, dude, we've got this in the bag. There's no way we don't have this thing in the bag. Come on now. 100 health remaining. And there he goes. I'm pretty sure my Thorns Potion actually killed him there. <laughs> All right. So there we are. Let's show the Cthulhu. Finally, my friends, we have the ability to dash. I mean, come on. How can you not be chuffed about that? <laughs> Ah, your boy is happy right now. So check it out, my friends. We can finally top up our Crimtain bar supplies here. We now have a whopping 28 bars. And with that, we can make many, many things. The Blood Butcherer. Wait, doesn't this thing now have like a debuff that it inflicts upon people? Pretty sure the 1.4.4 update added such functionality. Anyway, we've got the Tendon Bow, which is an enormous upgrade compared to the Platinum Bow. So, oh, no way. And we just got the best modifier you can get as well. A whopping 11 damage increase compared to the Plat Bow. <laughs> oh, your boy is happy again. All right, we've got the flesh catcher, upgraded fishing. That's always a nice thing to have. Finally, we have the blood butcher or the artery. What do we go for? Oh, I don't know. Uh, the artery might be kind of nice for like taking dudes down from like around a corner. So do you know what? That's exactly what we're going to go ahead and go for here. 22% fishing power versus 15%. Very nice little upgrade right there, my friendos. And hey, best thing is, my friends, we can go ahead and take down the Eye of Cthulhu once again on this upcoming night. Grab ourselves even more money and Crimtain bars. All right, so check this out, my friends. We actually 
have uh, mining potions and speedlonker potions. If I was to combine that with a bowl of soup, we might be able to get some pretty decent mining speeds. And then we can use the speedlonker potions to find ourselves ores and cabins and chests. And of course, heart crystals. Amethyst cave. Well, well, well. Very nice there, Terraria. Thank you. Although Amethyst is, what, the lowest tier of gem there is? According to the detector, there is a life crystal nearby. Quite where it is remains to be seen. All right, I'm not spotting it so far, so I can only assume it's either below me or above me at this point. Oh, yeah, it was above us. And also, there appears to be a cabin. Excellent. Okay. Okay, wait, hang on a minute. There's actually a second one. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness me. Why did I not think of bringing my Spiel and Capocious down with me earlier? Look at that. That's a third life crystal. That's all we need. We have the final three life crystals we need, my friends. We just need to be able to pick them up. All right, what do we got in here? Another extractinator. Not overly fussed about that, if I'm honest with you. But hey ho. It is what it is. I'll still take it, I guess. All right, let's roll up here. And here we are. 360 health. Make that 380 health. And here we are. The pre hard by maximum of 400 health. We've done it, my friends. That's a big old goal completed, I think. All right, looks like we have, what, a spider cave up here? But there's also a water chest. And I'd very much like to see what's in there, if at all possible. Ideally, without dying. Only, you know, those spiders are kind of nasty, aren't they? So let me just get up here. And we have ourselves a trident. Okay. The thing I'm looking for more so than anything else from the water chests is actually, what, water walking boots? That'd be really cool. Oh, dude, look on the right. That is going to be exceedingly dangerous to try and explore. But if we manage to get past all of the rabble that I can see sort of floating around in the dark over there, there is a bast statue and what appears to be, what, a desert chest? Oh, all right. So far, so good. All right, come on, come on, come on. Get ruined, you stupid little ant line, dude. Right, and now... Oh, dude, this is going to be so difficult, isn't it? How the hell am I going to do this? I don't know. Maybe if I just do a little bit of that and then just sort of dangle the artery in there. Yeah, this might be the way, my friends. This might just be the way. All right, Bass Statue, and there we are. We actually now have easy access to the oceans. Dude, do you know how big this is for the series? One of the other things that I managed to grab from that underground desert house was actually a grav potion. Ooh, exploring Sky Islands and all the space layer in general with 10 times spawn rates. Ah, <laughs> I'm not the only one who's thinking that's going to be an enormous yikes, right? Right, I need some pink torches, right? And then I'm going to try and make myself a peace candle. I mean, I don't imagine it's going to be doing too much for us up at a Sky Island. But, uh, you know, every little helps, right? Here we are. Makes surrounding creatures less hostile. I mean, honestly, I might as well make a few of these because I imagine we're going to wind up chucking these down in various arenas all over the place. Also, I just noticed the gold bunny and I would very much like to go ahead and capture it. It's a whole bunch of gold coins for your boy at the end of the day. Come back here, you son of a gun. Come on. Come on. Get in my net. Oh boy, oh boy. I can't believe I'm about to try this. Usually, if experience is anything to go by, when you find these large hills, it normally means that there is indeed a sky island nearby. So, my hope is that there is indeed a sky island up here. Okay, so here we are at the very top of the world. No enemies nearby. If it can keep that way, that would be absolutely lovely. Like, really, it would be. Right, what's that? Is that a Sky Island or a Sky Lake? It is actually a Sky Island. Oh, my goodness me. There's about 50 million dudes about to uh, try and roll up on me. Ha! Huh! If I could get myself uh, into the house, then we're okay. Okay, look at that. So, we got ourselves a lucky horseshoe. That's actually not that useful to our cause, if I'm being honest. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home, and we are going to start going up 
to, I don't know, maybe the opposite side here? Oh my word. Oh my word. No. 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 Oh god. No. Oh my word. It's Harpy Central. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to be surviving much longer unless there is a little island action in the meantime. Wait, I can actually see one. And I'm dead. Ah, oh, gee whiz. See, the thing is, I don't know if that was a sky lake or an actual island. We didn't reveal enough of the map there. Ah, oh, well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to take down the Oath of Cthulhu once again. Let's uh, da -da -da do this thing. Come on, buddy. All right. Second phase already. And he's in crazy phase now. Oh, and bear in mind, I just did that completely without any potions on me as well. So, uh, yeah, you know, bragging rights and all that. <laughs> all right, time once again to make ourselves some Crimtain bars and see what other upgrades we can make. I think realistically, there's only a couple. We've got the uh, axe and we have ourselves the blood butcher. We can make both of those as a matter of fact. So that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and do. So then 400 health achieved. Defeating the Eye of Cthulhu not once but twice achieved. Going through a sky island to get ourselves a horseshoe achieved and now i think what i'd like to do is to go ahead and explore the oceans because we can but first i'd like to sleep away this night so we can actually see what we're doing all right let's do this thing my friends i am expecting to be absolutely swarmed by enemies here only one thing i'd like to do is to try and get myself down into the water Oh my goodness me. Alright, so already we've got ourselves a chest. Lovely. Breathing reed. Love to see it. Oh, expecting a shark to try and roll up on me any minute. Oh, good grief, good grief, good grief. I can't see anything anymore. Uh, wait, I don't have any... Oh, whoa! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe I should do myself a favour here. Where are my glow sticks? Yes, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it, Python? Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, I think we're done here. <laughs> I don't know if I really saw any other chests. Oh, there was one as well. Ooh. Okay, trying to get down to that is going to be an interesting one. However, I do have a little bit of an idea. Do we have water walking potions? Yeah. Okay. Very good. How about a flipper potion so we can move quickly through water? No. All right. So if we use the water walking potion to walk on top of where the chest is and then basically just dive down, I think we should be okay to get that chest, okay? So here we are. We're going to do this thing again on the right-hand side ocean, that is. Bowl of soup, water walking potion. We walk until we're over the top of the chest and then we dive down super quick like, okay? So here we go. Coming down. Oh my goodness me, we're going to be so quick about this. Alright, boom. Uh, chest, question mark, there it is. Uh, boosh. Oh, get another breathing read. How disappointing. Alright, well, you know, was that really worth it? No? Alright, let's go check out this one. Let's see what is going on. Apparently there is a chest nearby. So maybe what I should do is maybe just chuck down some of these here glow sticks illuminate our way just a little bit and then we can maybe have a bit of a look-see see what's going on i can see a chest right here what have we got just a trident that's kind of poo if i'm being honest with you uh how's about another chest eh come on you know you want to give me one you know you want to give me another chest yep there is indeed one okay right uh okay uh chest opened uh and mined up any other chests? No, nope, I think that's it. All right, let's go home. So was that little ocean exploration session really worth our while? If I'm being honest, not really. But hey-ho, I mean, we were able to explore the oceans for the first time in this series. So I'll take it. So then, my friends, on that note, I think we're going to wrap up the episode right there. Thank you so much for watching. Join me for the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.